Hello everybody, thank you for clicking on my video today. So, it's been a while since I've made a video. I do apologize for that. Just really busy with life, surprisingly. I know a lot of people are at home, they might be bored for COVID. Not me, there's a lot of drama happening in my life. But anyway, um, so, Please don't mind me if I talk a little bit strange. I had a facial treatment yesterday, so I'm still a little sore, and it was around my mouth. So anyway, um, somebody commented before saying if I'm going, what my thoughts are on the new Angel Nova fragrance. So I have one here. It's a little sample that I got. So for a while, um, Facebook had an ad going on about how um, they were giving away free samples. So I did apply for that and I got this. I really like this package, really, really cool. So this is the fragrance here, it has a star. And I'm also gonna be comparing it with the original EDP of Angel right here. Don't mind the juice of this. I know it is kind of a weird brown tinge to it. It's just um, that I've had it for a long time. Um, and I still wear it a lot, I just wear it um, like I, it takes me some time to go through because it is such a potent fragrance. So um, this fragrance is a flanker of Angel series, another flanker. I believe that this is the flanker for this year. So I don't think Eau Crosser will be, I think this replaced it. So um, this fragrance has sparked quite a bit of popularity. It's gone really a lot of um, hype over it. And now if you have noticed, but it just is Moogler. It's not Terry Mugler anymore, so I'm guessing this has something to do with them being sold to L'Oreal. Not part of the Clarence group anymore. But anyway, this fragrance, um, it comes uh, in two sizes. I found two prices from Sephora. And I believe Sephora is having a sale right now, so take advantage of that. Uh, 50 mil is $115, and the 10 mil is $39. But last time I checked, it has been sold out, but I'm sure they're going to get another shipment like next week <laughs> so the perfumers of this is louise turner she has made uh, good girl and lust in paradise by ex nihilo um quentin bish and he's made fleur narcotique and la belle another one that i really really am liking so far and um sonia constant sonia constant i couldn't find too much that she's done that is popular but i found two there's the flanker of aqua di jo called ocean di jo for women and the Guerlain Aqua Agoria Tiari Mimosa. So, top notes on this is raspberry and lychee. Middle notes is um, Damnation Rose. Um, the base is um, Agalg Wood and Benzoin. So, um, I'm also going to be doing comparison with the Angel and let you know how it smells. Um, so, this is the fragrance here. And I have worn this a few times, and I definitely have my thoughts on it. So, um, so in the opening, definitely smell like a huge amount of raspberry for sure. It's very bright and fruity, um, like a syrupy, syrupy sweet kind of fragrance. Um, and then there's a rose kind of creeps in as well. So. This is kind of different, in my opinion, than most Mugler fragrances I'd smell. They smell really like heavy and patchouli, um, more like gourmand. This is slightly gourmand, but um, yeah, so that's Angel Nova on here. And I'm also going to spray it on my wrist and let you know what that smells like here. I do apologize that this is a sample, but I haven't really made up my mind if I'm going to be getting a full-size bottle of this. Maybe if I get it at a discount, I might. So I don't know if that's giving me away what I'm trying to tell you, but anyway. So I'm gonna smell it on my skin here. And yeah, it definitely smells more like earthy, lychee on my skin. Um, and more of the rose is coming out for sure. So this is definitely a different take on Angel. So I'm gonna spray Angel on this wrist here. And this is very very different <laughs> very very different um some people say that they can smell a little bit of the original angel and angel nova i particularly do not i'm going to smell both sides so much more lighter and fruity and juicier and also this is an eau de parfum so forgot to mention that and then this is the angel 
smells absolutely nothing alike. <laughs> Angel smells like that kind of like dirty patchouli cacao um, woodiness about it. Whereas the Angel Nova is a lot more fresh, definitely more for like spring and summer kind of fragrance. So anyway, I'm going to be right back. Um, I'm just going to let this develop on my skin for the next couple hours and let you know my final thoughts. Okay, so I am back and it's been a couple hours since I've applied the Angel Nova on my wrist. I'm going to let you know what it smells like. It's right here. So, hmm. I have to say it is a lovely perfume, but it is not a Moogler that I'm going to include in my collection. I'm sorry, but it's just not. It just doesn't have that pow and that intensity that I'm looking for. It just smells very fruity, very rosy. It's a very, very girly perfume. I I feel like it's uh, it's not like candy sweet, but it is rose as well. Um, it's um, It is a lovely perfume. I think it's definitely much more mass appealing than um, the original angel would be. And then this is the original angel here <laughs> that I smelled. Yeah, the original angel is still going strong. Still going strong. So um, Angel Nova. Um, when I think about the other um, summer flankers that came out, I feel like this is definitely a little bit of a different take. Um, if I'd have to give it out like out of 10, I'd give it like a seven. It's not bad. It's good. Would I buy a full-size bottle? Probably not. Um, would I keep a full-size bottle? I don't know. <laughs> Might actually trade that one too. So anyway, those are my final thoughts on Angel Nova. I'm really sorry I couldn't say anything more amazed about it. I'm just, it's a nice perfume. It's lovely. I just wasn't blown away. So thank you very much for watching my video and do consider subscribing because I have a way more videos to talk about. And I also have an Instagram, which is Tonka Sniffs. Okay. Thanks. Bye.